Hello lovelies and welcome to another video. So one thing I noticed when I print off my Project Life photos is without fail, I always end up with extras. Either I have printed too many off to fit in my Project Life album, or sometimes I print doubles. There was one time I printed an entire week twice. Don't ask me how that happened, but it did. And yeah, I'm just, and I just get all these leftover photos. So because nothing goes to waste in my room, I keep them on my desk to the left. I've got two little packets of photos, just full of spare photos. And when I feel like scrapbooking something, if I don't have something in mind, I tend to go through that stash. But when I have excess photos from weekly spreads that I've done, I have recently started putting them in a traveler's notebook. Now, I was never one to get on board the traveler's notebook thing. Um, I find it too small a lot of the time. And not only that, it's just one of those things where I'm like, why? I never saw the point of it. It was more, uh, I have a whole album for this. Why do I need a little book? But then I thought about it. And I thought, well, what else am I gonna do with all these excess photos? And I started making one for COVID. I can't find it at the moment. I wish I could because I've got some good photos to update it. But I ended up putting some of my excess photos in there just to document all of the, the happenings, mostly things that I found on Facebook, public notices, especially the border crossing. We live on the border and we have to cross the border daily. Cooper goes to school in Corumban, which is over the border. I'm in Tweed Heads. And we'll play soccer up at Burley, which is, again, over the border. So I make no less than five, six, seven, eight. Oh, what's that? Nine, about nine trips a week over the border. And that's just one way. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's interesting. So it has been a big part of our lives. Very excited that there, there's rumours that they're opening it soon. But, yeah, so documenting all of this has yeah it's given me you know a reason to crack open the traveler's notebooks and I know a lot of people do use the traveler's notebook so I thought because I have a fair amount of the printables left they're actually quite perfect for this kind of project and that's how I've decided to start using them so I've decided I've in uh, actually last month as well I did some and the month before I think is when I did my COVID ones I have been using them um, in my traveler's notebook so this is just another picture of the lovely traffic. I've got a couple of these. And I thought I'd, this was a spare one. It was sitting on my desk, which is why there's no date. I'm pretty sure it's sometime in October. I think this may be the day I was stuck for an hour and a half and running late to pick up Cooper. Thank goodness for his support worker that lives in Corumban and she was able to go pick him up from school for me. But yes, uh, the traffic can be a real nightmare and yeah, so obviously we're over it. It has become routine, I hate to say. The boys know to pack their iPads, have some water, because it's going to take some time to get over. One time it took us an hour and a half to get from here to Burley, but the worst was that time I was stuck for an hour and a half just to get to the border crossing. Now, the border crossing is just near Corumban. And it should take me 15 to 20 minutes at most. It took me an hour and a half to get to the border crossing that day I was late. So, yeah, needless to say, it's a big part of our lives at the moment. And, yeah, I find myself documenting it. And because this was spare, I decided to throw it in my traveler's notebook. And, yeah, so I'm, mostly I'm using my traveler's notebook to document all those extra photos that I have just floating around on my desk. They are all from this year. I think the ones I've actually put in this oh no that's from january but anyway I was, I was thinking they were all from october but they're not but i figured why not have a little snapshot of our day-to-day -day lives in here and cooper does love going through all my little albums uh, he goes through the christmas albums a lot and any little books with photos he does love looking through them so yeah i thought it was just a nice way to supplement the project life albums as well there's obviously more journaling in this um in my traveler's notebook which I find interesting because I'm not usually one to journal much. But I find this is sort of a mix between a scrapbook and a journal. So there's a lot more journaling going on in here, which I figure is a good thing for those memories that I want to document. So just a quick little video of my traveler's notebook. And yeah, I'll be back real soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.